Hello, my name is Dr Karen Horwood and I'm a senior lecturer in planning at Leeds Beckett University. The challenge I face as a practitioner is trying to get women's voices into the classroom. So many of the key texts that we read are written by men and it's really important to hear women's voices in that too. So one of the things I do to challenge that is to make sure that my reading lists reflect a diversity of viewpoints, a diversity of, of writers to make sure that all different types of voices are heard. And I hope that by doing that, my graduates will be more used to hearing women's voices, seeking them out and seeking out that diversity of perspective. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm a town planner working in a public health setting and co-founder of the Health and Wellbeing and Planning Network. As a planning practitioner, I very much welcome making sure the spaces and places that we create are safe and open to everyone. The challenges I face when working in a policy environment is not quite knowing what gender equal means then how best to articulate what's required in planning and public health policy terms. I would like to change this by having a better appreciation of the needs of everyone in our community and working with them to create the kind of vibrancy and diversity we desire in our environments. I'm Dory Breeze, freelance urban planner, researcher and capacity builder based in Aotearoa, New Zealand, and I'm a fellow of the RTPI. A key challenge I face in developing gender equal spaces and places is to ensure that we actually learn the lessons from the past. Women in Urbanism, Aotearoa, started in 2015. It identified four key issues facing women, safety, design, access and housing. And these are exactly the same issues identified in the RTPI Practice Advice Note 12 in 1995 and Good Practice Note 7 in 2007. And they reflect the issues reported in RTPI Planning for Choice and Opportunity, published back in 1989. So what am I doing about it? I will summarise it in the three A's. Acknowledge the past, amplify the voice of others and advocate. Acknowledge the past, remember we stand on the shoulders of others who have gone before. Secondly, amplify the voice of others. We have the UN Sustainable Development Goals, and SDG 5, which cuts across all the other and stands for equality for women. We have the New Urban Agenda linked to SDG 11, the five Vienna Principles, the Swedish Four R's, the Spanish Yellow Window, all of which implemented would take us a long way to achieving gender equal spaces and places. And thirdly, advocate, as I'm doing now, advocate for the voices of women to be heard for the issues to be tackled and work as a collective across the professions and work with women in the community. The challenges I face as a planning practitioner to support gender equal spaces and places is to support the voices of the unheard. What would I do to change this? The first thing I'd do is to support ensuring that um, people with lived experience are included in the built environment professions. And the second thing I'd do is to support ongoing engagement practices to ensure that those unheard voices become the heard.